And here's a gratuitous shot of Merida sleeping in her dog bed in the sun, which is what she does 23 hours a day, as long as the sun's out anyway. And we're going to go take a walk down to Columbia. Got our new sign here. And uh, check out the new bridge down here across the level. So, Old shaft, new shaft. Feel all right on a warm Tacopa Mines night. Going down, look at the bridge that uh, Tim McNewville, there he is right there. There's Tim. And we're gonna go down this ladder. Yeah, you got better light than I do. I'm still cooler though. And we'll check out the new bridge and we'll come up the other shaft and a good time will be had by all. Hell, I ain't been dirty in a day anyway. Going down, 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 look at that. There's Tim way down there. You can't see him because of the sunlight, but We'll catch up with them. It's only about a 150 feet to the bottom here, out of the first level anyway. Climbing down, climbing down. I'm actually getting ready to replace this ladder with stairs. So thanks to you who helped put this ladder in last year. Come on back, we're gonna take it out and replace it with stairs and put it in the War Eagle mine. And looking down, there's Tim down where we're going. We can do this with stairs, make it more user-friendly, and use this ladder in War Eagle, going up a stope to the 500. So now I'm down here, a fair ways down. I'm on the 15th ladder section down, and spinning around past the gratuitous Tim shot, we see the new bridge that we came down to take a look at. Those of you who've been down here back in the old days, remember when you had to <sighs> mind the rock fall? Had to try to clamber up the side here to get onto the drift level or up that old pipe over there. There used to be a station here for the ore cars back in the day, but some chowder had burned this place back in the 80s and wrecked it all. You can still see all the burned stuff up top there. So the station was burned out. The track was all warped and wrecked. The air pipe was collapsed here. Yeah, and probably it was the best shaft in the mines, definitely the newest. It was ruined for all time. But we're restoring it, we're repairing it. So coming down here, we've now got the ladder that goes up here. We've got an intact, complete bridge that goes from what I like to call 165 left over here to 165 right on that side. Left goes to the new shaft we're constructing over there, the new old shaft rather, and right goes back into the mountain a considerable ways now that we've got that blasted and semi-mucked out and opened up again. So this mine is slowly opening up again uh, for visitation, not just on this level, but going further down towards the bottom. And we can get off down there and work our way in around and get down to the, the ore cars and the internal shaft below and all the other really cool stuff that hasn't been seen by very many people since the fire. Matter of time and money, but we're getting there, so. Let's go look at the bridge, shall we? All right, now having climbed up the ladder here, on the uh, platform proper, you can see the little shout out to our architects here, Tim McNew and Associates, Linda Keelan being the associate, and 323 was the official completion date. Although the, the inspector hasn't signed off on it yet, so. Yeah, look at this, this is great. How wide is this, Tim? 40 inches. 40 inches wide, anchored to the old rail car, ties underneath it, railings on both sides, and right up there on the left, back over on the right, still see some of the, the working tools back in here. We used to clear the muck uh, in part of our ongoing you know, process to embiggen the space over there, make it safe. Back in the old days, the ore cars probably would have dumped into a bin that was mounted on this side right down there and loaded the, the cars, skip cars going up the rail. And you can see we got the, uh, still got the rail there, nice 36 inch skip track that would go all the way to the top. Uh, of course, the fire put paid to most of that, but we'll see if we can't reuse some of it. So all in all, this is cool. It now connects both sides. No need to, you know, rock climb or go down one ladder and up another one. 
just walk straight across the bridge, nice and solid. Got some good wood back there we're gonna haul out of here for salvage and use it topside for other projects. Got a ton more down the other drift. So eventually older parts of this mine will be in use in other places uh, because it is darn good wood. So I'm really happy. Yeah, the inspector approves. I will sign off on this stamp of approval. Happy day. Let's see what else we got around here. Looking good to the wheelbarrow, Tim. Bring it across. What the heck? Yeah. All right. Very nice. Yeah, we're still going to get this muck pile out of here. But that can go right down the shaft. That's, that's just uh, fine stuff. and It can go right down the shaft. It ain't going to hurt nothing. This is exactly what I had planned for it. Good. Let's get across here and work our way out the other. Do 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 You know, Tim, I was just thinking that <clears throat> this this track here, this is 18 gauge rail, so we could bring uh, some of those ore cars down here, maybe even that mucker. I don't think he heard me. So, Dio, you know, we could bring that mucker down here. What do you think? Sure. All we need is a suitable hauling system. Oh, sure. Bring reality into this. I don't care if it does weigh two tons. We need that rail top side, though. So, that loose rail's got to go up ASAP. We'll use that. So, just along with all this wood. Looking good. There's a good piece. Yeah, that's a great piece. It's straight rail, too. Mm -hmm. There's some more back in War Eagle up on the 500 we'll get in haul down. About the same size. Nice of you to put that bench in there. You like that? Yeah. I made use of it. Some people. What union do you belong to? <laughs> yeah, it's going to get me in trouble. All right. Well, here we are sitting down in the old station below the newly repurposed original shaft. Still got a lot of debris in here. It was a big hanging rock back here a long time ago, but we blew that one up last year. and It was kind of cool. Thanks, John and company, for that. So... We've got a lot of debris down here, both from the blast and from coming down the shaft as we work to clear it up. But there's the bottom of the, the new ladder. It goes up to the, the new shaft collar up there. So we're going to climb ourselves back out that way in a second. And the circuit is real easy to do now. Down that ladder, up onto the bridge, across the bridge, through a little section here and around uh, some tight but otherwise stable debris here and then up the ladder so come on out and maybe we can do this just gonna clean some of this stuff out now but that shouldn't be too much just, we can clean that out i mean there's nothing over anymore that's where the big boulder used to be was up here but now it's all down here and down there and little bitty pieces so the powers of explosives and a short clamber up the rope from down there we're back on the new ladder and up we go. Look at that. Beautiful down here. Side drifts. Lots of other fun areas to explore. And that one actually goes back and connects to the main shaft again. So enough yabber. Let's get up there. Now it's kind of neat about halfway up the shaft here. You've got the rock face over there, but returning to our level. Most of these stalls you see sit in here still have the rail spikes in them from the skip track that used to be here. But we couldn't just pocket like this back here. They were actually mining you know, ore right out of the shaft here as they were sinking it. So this pocket here 
like a little mini stope back in here. And there's more up there behind the lagging. There's a good stope back in there that probably ran for a bit. Uh, we can't tell if it was backfilled or collapsed, but there's definitely space back in there, just like the ones below. So this was both a shaft and an actual working piece of the mine where they're pulling ore out, following the vein down. And the shaft up here is all heavily timbered, with stalls all the way around, lagging all the way around. And those are all railroad ties. You can even see a couple spots where, you know, the track plate would have been in there. So they repurposed that, which is probably why it collapsed, you know, when it did, because that was never meant to be permanent stuff like some of the pine used before in a lot of the rest of the mines. But if you look here where it ends, and we go right into the rock face above us and right on down. So we've got our lagging over there and over here and rock face here and way down there, Tim, hoping I don't drop the camera on him. So, but I don't plan to because I like this camera. And now I think I'll just climb the rest of the way out. See you on top. Okay, now I'm out. We're just waiting for Tim to pop out here like a groundhog looking for his shadow. Pop on out, groundhog. So what do you think? I like your bridge. What do you think of the shaft? Love it. Not bad. Every day and every way, folks, things are getting better and better out here at Tacopa Mines. So come on out. And if you love us and want to support us, hey, throw us some bones to the new GoFundMe or Patreon or however you want to do it or... Just come on out and hang out and see the place take a tour. But we're here and it's all working out. And of course, this little one is right where we left her when we went down. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Some watchdog you are. Where's your sister? Oh, yeah, in the house because she can't be trusted out here. But you're a good girl, aren't you?